Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Kryptonic and in today's video, we're doing a little bit of a case swap from an older like office computer and we're case swapping it and turning it into kind of a modern gaming PC. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video, make sure to drop a like down below. But anyways, guys, let's get straight into the video. Alrighty, so starting off with how I kind of got everything. So basically this computer came from OfferUp and it was just a little bit of researching and getting it for the right price. This came with an i5-4590S, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a random power supply that I'm not going to be using again because everything inside of this case kind of just smells like a cigarette user. So it's not something I want to reuse and plus this power supply is not very great looking or feeling it just feels very sketchy so i'm not going to use that again and now for a hundred dollars everything in here is a pretty good deal and we're putting an rx 470 in here since the gtx 950 that came in the system was used in another system as you guys could tell if you guys watched a different video on this channel so that's going to be very interesting since i normally do nvidia over amd but since nvidia hasn't you know sent me my rtx 3070 sheesh you know i gotta do what you gotta do so now I'm wrapping that RX 470 on this computer build. Okay, so we basically went over how we got the computer. Now, what are we going to do to the computer to make it into a gaming computer? So first off, we're swapping out the case. We're putting in a CMT 260 by FSP because it just makes a lot more sense to make the case look nicer when the case that it came with smells really bad and it has scratches all over. So that's not something I would really want to reuse. And it just overall looks very gross. Second thing we're upgrading is the power supply we're putting in a sega top 650 gold and now the reason why we're doing 650 is because i had it laying around and the ketchup and mustard cables look really good in the combination with this very green motherboard i'm actually really glad that this motherboard is case swappable because most you know office computers aren't case swappable if you guys have ever used an optiplex which i love optiplexes they're the best like pre-built computers out there to get just because you can find them for a really good price on OfferUp or Facebook and all you have to do is swap out the power supply and add in a graphics card and sometimes if you just get a low profile graphics card you don't even need to swap out the power supply add in an SSD and that's a whole gaming computer I have like two of those in my closet and they're great machines I love them very much but the problem with that is you can't case swap them because it's very proprietary to Dell so you basically have this really cool computer but it looks like an Optiplex, which it's kind of a problem when it looks like a computer from, you know, your campus or something. Now, case swapping this into the CMT 260 was very easy. Power supply fit very beautifully. SSD, I added a 256 SSD SATA just because M.2 is non-existent on this motherboard. And the fans that came with this FSP case, I just left the original one in the back. It's a white FSP fan. And honestly, it just seems to match very well. Temps are really good inside of it. I have the stock cooler since that seems to work so i just kept it on there i replaced the thermal paste made everything look really good but it's really annoying because i had to move over the top fan that was in the back of the case because apparently with this motherboard the computer will always give you an f1 boot error if you don't have that fan connected and now what that error does is basically just not let you boot directly into windows 10 it'll just give you f1 and boot into windows 10 so every time you turn on the computer you would have to hit f1 to just boot into the computer and i thought that was really annoying so what i did is i got the fan from the other computer and just put it at the top so now it has a cpu cooler it has a back case cooler and it has a top cooler on top of the cpu cooler to get rid of that f1 warning and now when you turn on the computer it's a breeze and it just kind of logs you in which is honestly really great now what i want you guys to get out of this video isn't that hey kryptonic can do a case swap that's that's whatever you know psh, your boy is always prepped what i want you guys to get out of this video is that used parts are you know out there for a hundred dollars i was able to get a pretty good deal and obviously it does come down to your market i'm in san diego and offer up and facebook are honestly booming all the time so i'm very fortunate for that but i know that people get deals all the time so it's just a matter of finding the right deals in your area and it does take time don't get me wrong finding deals takes a lot of time but when you do find them it is really worth it because like i said in 2021 computer parts are very scarce and being able to build something used for a lower budget 
budget is really nice because I know that just spending a few hundred dollars here, like $300, I can get this to be a really nice gaming computer if I just take my time looking for the used parts in comparison to buying a $300 Ryzen processor and that's all I can afford because I just blew all my money on one part of the computer. Overall though, I'm very happy with the way this computer turned out. I know there were a lot of shortcomings as in the motherboard being green, the CPU fan having to be at the top, the power supply being ketchup and mustard, it's just a lot of little things that kind of at the end of the day for me made this computer even more special because it's a gaming computer that got life into it again just by giving it a case swap and of course you know the power supply yeah you could have brought over the other one but honestly it's better to just buy a new one you know they're pretty affordable and they're kind of the heart of your computer if you think about it because if that goes out it could take other things with it so i would say it's honestly just worth spending the money on a new one which is exactly what i did here and together i think the computer just looks very budget friendly and honestly that's all i could have wanted from it the cmt case just looks really nice and it makes the parts on the inside look even nicer because when you have a nice case it kind of sets a mood and tone for everything and the case itself made the computer not look as i don't know ghetto it's a green motherboard okay what what can you do with a green motherboard this case made it look like it wasn't green even though it was bright green okay that's my best way to look at it now i did run 3d mark test to just kind of show you guys what this computer can do and it's not you know over the top but it's also not very like low end anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did remember to leave a like and a comment down below let me know if you guys are into budget gaming pcs mainly in 2021 when parts are so hard to find that's kind of my thing. My side hustle is offer up and I ride offer up like crazy because I know I can find good deals if you just take the time to find them. And I just, I hate it because on YouTube, I don't get to share a lot of that, but it's just because on offer up things move so quickly that you don't have time to kind of record and do everything. Cause by the time you do all of those steps, there's so many other parts you just missed in the process. So I will try to get you guys more content, but for offer up in Facebook, I kind of move fast, maybe get like a weekly sum up of all my parts and everything, but we'll have to see. Anyways, guys, my name is Kryptonic. I try to upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I will catch you guys later. Peace, guys.